Well, we're seeing leaders um, you know, like yourself really conscious of how they positively impact others in their environment. And before we started this conversation, I was talking to you, you spent your off-season and you've uh, uh, carted along. That may be not the right uh, term to use, but uh, Jamara Hugo Hagen, who was you know, a teammate of yours, number one draft pick, and wanted to try and follow you effectively in the off-season to learn your professional behaviours. It's, it's a great commitment in your break time to, to do that. I mean, it's a great example of how you positively impact others. Are there other thoughts about how you do that? Um, yeah, definitely. I think um, as you as you get older um, and, and through your career um, and feel like you get a, a better a feel and a better um, a better consistency with with you know or confidence in your performance in your training and feel like um, you can continue to add sort of add layers and add little things, but you start to realise you know what. Um, how you want your probably your influence or things to not last but leave I guess a, a legacy in a way and and your best way to do that is is through others and through you know those definitely younger than you that um, are about to go on a similar pathway and similar journey to you and um, once again I was sort of reflecting on you know my own experiences with you know Bob Murphy, Matthew Boyd, Dale Morris, um, you know Easton Wood who, who's just recently retired and their impact on me from a very young age and how how influential it can be if you're just willing to sort of take the time to to spend that with with young people. So Jamar is a, an example of of obviously a young player um, who comes in with you know a heap of attention, a heap of focus, which I had to a certain degree, but definitely not at the same same level. And we're even living in a in a pretty different sort of world nowadays to what we were sort of eight years ago when it comes to you know phones and, and social media and the how much it probably follows you more than it did even when I came in. Um, so that, that was, you know, really Jamara sort of doing and his appetite and desire to, uh, you know, probably start this preseason off maybe a bit better than he did the last one and basically set himself up to, to have a, you know, an improved season. And, and um, I was really just happened to be around at the time and he was keen to stay and, and um, you know, stay on and stay away with me and just start training together. So um, it's, it's really good maturity for him from one year to the next to be able to go, um, you know, I want to, I want to make more of, of this season. Um, and he's applied himself, um, really well. So excited to see what, what sort of happens there for him. But ultimately I just love the idea of, of that being able to help others through their challenges and, and try to, you know, be a, you know, a bit of a, a North star in a way for him to, to try and follow and reflect with. A listener production.